Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the review. Today we're going to talk about the SH Figuarts Shinkocho Seho Ultraman Tiga Power Type. Uh, everyone knows I reviewed Tiga. Had an excellent time reviewing Tiga Multi-Type. Power Type is no different. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. They got rid of... I won't even... Actually, no. I can't say they got rid of. They swapped around some rubber parts for a, a different type of rubber part in the, in the waist section. So that way you would have an easier time maneuvering Tiga Power Type. And I gotta honestly say, I like how this one feels. I actually like the way uh, multi-type felt as well. But this one feels a little bit more sturdier in terms of the waist area. And I've actually had a great time photographing him. Fantastic time. Uh, hopefully I can come up with some more crazy ideas with him as well. So, with that being said, let's jump into our look on Tiga Power Type. Let's actually back it up just a little bit. Yeah! Alright, here we are. With Tiga. So... Tika power type uh, exerts more power, gets rid of the speed and agility, and definitely gives you that physical crushing power you get with a red ultra, uh, in case you're following any of the tropes. And with red ultra power, you know, you got stuff like Titus, you have like Z beta smash, Tiga power type, trigger pow power type, there's a bunch of other things like that. But if you notice when I compare it later with Tiga multi type, he has broader shoulders, bigger arms, bigger biceps, so that way we can have that more buffer feel in design to him. Our head can look up. We can look down just a little bit. We can't really tilt left and right as much as we'd like to, but we do actually get a nice rotation. But I would have liked tilting. That would have been really nice. But considering it's supposed to be like a guy in a suit, I'm guessing you can't really do that in an actual suit design because I've noticed they don't really do that too well because the bunching in the neck and... Uh, You'll see deterioration in neck area if you pay attention to like the suit designs. As far as our arms go, we can actually tuck it in right here underneath these soft chest parts. Right? So it's actually a little harder here in this part of the chest. But right here is made soft. So that way you can actually get that premium articulation. We can actually rotate the arm through and through as well as with the bicep swivel. We have a beautiful double joint as well allowing us to do this. We can rotate our upper torso very easy with no problem. Like I said, these rubber parts, they sound crazy, but they do feel a lot better than they did with multi-type. Same here with our bottom part. As you can see, I actually, actually was able to push that in. And as you can see here, it doesn't really like fold in like a bad way. It looks really good. But as you can see here, if you want to get low with that Tika power type, it is not an issue, right? We don't really get a drop down method, but we can lift our leg up to about 90 degrees. We do have thigh swivel going outward and inward, and we have a beautiful double joint. Our ankle articulation does drop down, but not as deep as I would like it. That's still pretty okay. We have toe pivot as well. We can go backwards and forwards just a little bit, and I mean really just a little bit. But as far as like getting low, getting those crouching stances out of Tiga power type, you can definitely get like those really good power moves Especially if you're going to do like wrestling techniques or grapples. Tiga power type definitely can get low enough in the instance of picking his head up, as you can see here. And really kind of showing off those feats of strength. Looking really solid. Our color timer is lodged in really well as well too. So you don't have to worry about, you know, really messing up those seams. Like your color timer popping out or anything like that. You don't really have to stress that kind of thing. It's not going to be an issue. But yeah. Oh, by the way, these arms do have an invisible butterfly swivel. So as you can see, you can actually drop those arms down a bit as well too. So yeah, movement on this guy is going to be beautiful. Because he picks this back up. Boom. Oh, by the way, you can actually rotate left and right as well. Giving you extra articulation in your Tiga. This guy just looks utterly beautiful. It really does look like a person in a suit. Like it's replicating that really, really well. And I just can't talk about that enough. It's so nice to really see that. And I just love how it looks and shows up in camera. With that being said though, what we are gonna do is we're gonna take the time to jump to accessories. So let's get to it. So like I said, we're gonna jump into the accessories. One of the things I wanna talk about is that color timer, that swapper. It's in such a small piece that you really need to be careful. When you have it in hand as you can see here it's very small so we get our red color timer when we're clearly running out of time in ultraman or we're low on power you'll get two sets of open action hands these ones go really well for grapple techniques uh 
attacking monsters looking like you're getting ready to make a tackle these are very nice they also mimic that of his uh his torrent beam that this is an effect part that's actually held in the hand but it actually can come out of that hand part as well in case you want to use that but like i said it looks really good when you actually want to use it as if you're dunking on your opponents as you can see the regular hand still mimics that in case you wanted to do it you'll also get flight hands because you know even in power type you can still fly so here are our flight hands looking really solid you will get chopping hands these are very important to all ultras you got to get down with the nitty gritty and get with the chopping baby chopping your opponents just feel like such a disrespectful wrestling move like i remember william regal would chop people across the chest so hard and then we have these also these extra hands and these are more more gripping type whereas the other ones are more action oriented this is actually more gripping like grabbing dirt rocks beating on the opponent these look really good you can actually do a hand lock with these as well so when you want to give up that bear hug which i'm actually i've done in a photo so it's pretty cool these are really nice then you'll also get an effect part, which is pretty d dope because you'll get like, no, this is not the, this is the Tiga Power Blitz. Sorry, this is the Power Blitz effect. This one is going to be the Torrent. So actually you see, you'll get one dedicated hand, and I'm sorry I messed that up. So this would be the Torrent hand, if I remember correctly, or the Power Beam, depending on if you're watching that four kids dub, right? You'll see a part here. This one is attached to the hand. You'll get a connecting part, which will pretty much line up. And this is the forward part and then you actually have the last part here to show that beam current and this looks utterly beautiful unfortunately it does weigh down the effect part on him which is cool because he does come with a stand i'm going to lay out right here and then you kind of then you're going to find that tab that's underneath right there i'm not sure if it's going to pick up well on camera but with that tab you can actually lock it in boom shakalaka right now let's say you don't want the hand part attached but you want to have that cool effect you can actually still wiggle this out there's an alternative effect that shows it leaving like as if it was leaving his hand then you can just do the effect part here and you can have the effect part literally just kind of be like a hadouken for you so you can hadouken it up make it look really good you'll also get one extra stand piece in case you want to attach it to something else let's actually get some focus on that as we get my hands in there try new lighting so you'll get this new piece here you can actually attach in case you wanted to put it on a different type of stand or attach it on this so that way you don't have to worry about messing up any parts so you actually have all of that so that concludes our accessories and the things that's on Tiga which are really cool um, <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the time to jump into a size comparison and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, now we're going to jump into the size comparison. Let's compare first the Tiga Multi-Type, the Shinko Choseho. As you can see, Tiga Multi-Type is thinner, thinner waist, thinner body overall. And with Power Type, we have those wider, bigger proportions on him that grows in strength so it shows this time around. So it's pretty cool that it's not just a palette swap with colors. It's actually a different body, which is really cool to see. So let's take you away next because i wanted to do some buff bro stuff at least here in the video here we are with z beta smash uh, and by the way if anybody has a titus for trade holla at your boy i missed out on titus <laughs> so here's with z beta smash a regular ultraman release well sorry not regular but it's p banda but it's not shunko choseho then we have alien zeton right so here he is next to one of the aliens then i want to do Balton, right? I missed out on Goza, but I got one. I actually ordered one recently, so I'll be getting a Goza soon, right? So as we remove these two aliens, next up, let's actually try. Oh, actually, really important. Here is a NECA Godzilla, whose tail I'm gonna have to slide in between, so you can see what he's like next to a NECA Godzilla. As you can see, he is smaller than a Godzilla, which is still pretty cool, but uh. I like that we can still do it in the tokusats genre. Oh, and if you want to do a Monster Godzilla, I do have an Ultima whose tail I have to curve around Tiga. Right? So here we are with an Ultima. And Ultima's a big boy as well. Right? But you can see just how stacked 
Ultraman and Godzilla are in this, right? Let's actually safely put you away. Put your big old tail. Then we have a Robot Spirits Pacific Rim figure, which is gigantic compared to Ultraman. You're going to have to more ignore the motorcycle in the background. There's nothing I can do about where I live. Um, last but not least, we have a NECA Kaiju from Pacific Rim. I actually love the idea of these two going at it, as Ultraman often fight bigger monsters, so I do like this. And I think that about... Could, oh, no! Actually, here we are with Ultraman Trigger multi-type. And now that concludes my Tokusats size-wise comparison. But before I go, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you as always. Uh, know that you're loved. And even if you don't feel that way, sometimes it takes a little time for us to realize it. And maybe we need a little bit of break and to see it from the outside. So for those of you watching, I hope you know that you're well appreciated in this world. And your time here matters. So as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later. Real quick, I just want to add this in at the end of the video because it actually fell mid-review. There are a set of gripping hands for Tiga power type. So I want to make sure you guys know that they're there. As I forgot during my video. So, just want to point that out. Thanks as always, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Later.